Here's DF Robot's package, the care package they sent us. And in here we have the box that Latte Panda came in, which is super nice. Um, it has an antenna, super convenient. And then it has some instructions, which you're going to need because when I first got it, well, I couldn't turn it on actually. When I first got it, I didn't know how to turn it on. The buttons aren't labeled. There's no actual labels on the Latte Panda at all. So you're gonna have to read the instructions to find out where things are, but you'll find there's two buttons here. The button that's closest to the header, that's your power button. And then the one that's farther away here, that's your reset button. And then of course, um, you have a reset button here as well for the Arduino. This is your reset Arduino button. What I have plugged into it today is just a USB right now, HDMI for capture. Uh, power is off USB here, and then we have um, Ethernet. And then this is just, like I said, for the keyboard, the mouse, and you can see underneath. So it's a pretty decent size, like it's very tiny. Uh, I'd say about the same size as a Raspberry Pi. Uh, let me grab one and see. So here's a Pi next to it. Yeah, so you can see the size difference is not, not that much, really. So. Because I have it hooked up into this capture card, uh, we can see, you guys can see everything that I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. So let's switch you over so you can do that. Booyah, okay. So this is the desktop for the Latte Panda. And it also, which was really convenient from, Lat from the DF Robot guys, they included the Arduino IDE on it, which is really nice. So, you can right away start, uh, put the firmware right from our website directly onto the Arduino ID. So why don't we start with that? So let's start the website from synthium.com and put it onto the Arduino that's included onto the, uh, the Latte Panda. So we're gonna go to our getting started guide here and click on, I'm a robot builder, because I am, I build robots. Rawr. Okay, here we go. Um, program, okay, so let's get, well, yeah, let's just do Easy Builder first. I'm going to load Easy Builder Designer Beta because I'm hardcore like that. So off we go to download. So I have Easy Builder running here. We're gonna do my usual, just install. Okay, so we have Easy Builder installed. Let's just load her up and see how it looks before we program the Arduino. Okay, so it looks here that we booted up pretty decent. That's not bad. Um, one thing you can do too with Windows to make things a little bit quicker is you can shut off the Windows Defender Virus Manager scanner thing, but it doesn't even seem to be loaded right now. So, cool. It's weird. Usually it's always loaded. Okay. So this loaded pretty decent. So we don't need it right now. Let's shut her down. And let's go back to our web browser. And we want to get a microcontroller. So click on that. Okay. So under microcontrollers, we should see Latte Panda. There it is. So we'll click on that. And we got some information about the Latte Panda, um, how to get it running, some connection notes. This is gonna be important when we actually go to use it. You actually have to go into the connection control and turn on something called DTR enabled because, oh my God, I lost my mind on it yesterday. Um, in order to turn the Arduino on the Latte Panda into an EZB and it needs to talk over USB, um, there was this bug that's only on the one version of Arduino it's using, which is called the Arduino Leonardo. <laughs> and you have to turn on DTR, otherwise the event on the U USB CDC driver just doesn't trigger. So um, Easy Builder has been updated for that, for just for this one particular use case, just, uh, whatever. So you can see here there's a download for the Arduino firmware. So let's click on that. And then what we'll do is we will extract this to a folder. Yeah. 
Cool. And then now we have our Arduino Leonardo project for Arduino. And it's so cool. Like this, this thing actually has a full Windows 10 computer and an Arduino. So we can turn this into an entire like easy B. You don't have to do anything else. It's fantastic. Cool. There we are. So this library um, is already configured for the Arduino Leonardo. So all we have to do is program the Arduino on here. So it's showing up in some really weird language up here. Um, I guess it's Italian. Whatevs. We don't need to read it. And then we'll just click. We selected our, um, our port and our board. So the board we're using is called a Leonardo. We want to make sure that the Arduino Leonardo is selected. And then you want to select your COM port. And it's going to show you which one is the correct one because it's going to have the USB driver. And then next we'll just push this button here to upload. So we watch down here. It's going to um, show us the progress of compiling. And then this message right here where it says compiling, that should eventually say done once it's done uploading. There we go, uploading. Done, cool. So now we don't need this at all anymore, um, unless you wanted to modify the Arduino source code to add more capabilities to Easy Builder, but you can close that entirely down. Wow.